Uh, I'm Justin Taylor. I'm the Vice President of Labour and Supply with the Canadian Restaurant and Food Services Association. Uh, I've been involved on the payment uh, re review of the payment system on the task force for the payment system review and uh, we work closely with the government in developing uh, the code of conduct, um, the voluntary code of conduct for credit cards and debit cards in Canada. Some of the trends we're seeing in the restaurant industry um, as far as payment systems go, over the last little while there's been a number of important changes in the payment uh, ecosystem, the introduction of chip and pin, um, the movement to uh, matrix type merchant discount rates where some credit cards are more expensive to accept than others. So restaurants are really feeling like they're playing a, a catch-up game to try and figure out with all of these changes how to do things. I was talking a little bit earlier about how now with chip and pin, servers actually have to stay at the table while the, the payment is being processed, um, which adds a lot of labor cost for restaurants. So they're really still trying to figure out how these changes will affect them and how to mitigate those changes. But on the horizon, we're seeing a lot of really exciting opportunities um, as we're going to be moving towards possible technologies where the restaurant no longer has to own the equipment to process the payment. If that's being done through cell phone to cell phone payments or other technologies like that that could create huge opportunities. I actually uh, earlier today was talking about two case studies. The first one is with a quick service restaurant. So it's a Canadian uh, burger chain that has introduced uh, ordering kiosks. So instead of customers all coming up to the counter to pay for their meals, they actually go to a kiosk first, punch in their order, and can only pay either with debit or credit. So this is a significant shift because usually in quick service restaurant, the majority of transactions are cash transactions. So as we're seeing other changes in the restaurant industry uh, to try to minimize labor costs and to create more of a, a high-tech um, fun experience for the customer we're going to see changes uh, in the payments as well and how payments are accepted. The other big change that we're seeing I was talking a little bit about in full-service restaurants so now we're having servers waiting at the table um, to collect the payment and go through while someone is putting in their chip and pin number um, at the payment so restaurants are quite excited about new innovative ways where not only will they be able to speed up the transaction um, they'll also be able to give customers a bit more privacy so someone's not standing over your shoulder while you're calculating your tip and some of these new payment technologies might allow for that. I think that uh, I think that in the in the payments as far as payment innovations and changes there's a lot more questions than answers right now for restaurants especially the smaller independent ones that don't have the resources of a chain and a whole team behind them so a lot of the things that will be coming into the market um, are the the data driven solutions solutions that will provide you with more information about who your customer is, what they purchase, what their purchasing history is like when they're making a payment. Um, but until someone is able to clearly say, here's what information will be available, here's how you can use it in your business, and here's how you can apply it, I think a lot of the mom and pops will really be left asking themselves questions instead of seeing real opportunities. Well, we're definitely seeing in other parts of the world the introduction of more technology, so people actually or making their orders with uh, tablets or kiosks or things like that. And Canada is significantly behind other countries when it comes to those types of ordering technologies and, and the payment technologies that can accompany them. But I think we're seeing a real shift. I talked a little bit earlier about the importance of labour costs in the restaurant industry we're being forced to be innovative with how we use our labor and to make sure that when we're having people do something it's really the most value-added job that they can do. So we have some quick service restaurants in Europe that have decided to roll out kiosks and uh, iPad ordering and all of those types of things. We're definitely going to start seeing that in Canada but we are definitely behind the rest of the world as far as using technology in restaurants to process orders and make payments. I think that a lot of those small merchants in just about any segment of the economy will be late adopters. Um, they aren't necessarily on the cutting edge of technology when it comes to just about anything. And possibly in the restaurant industry, there's a lot of sort of traditional mentality that goes along with the restaurant industry. So I think that it'll take a while um, before new payment technologies, new ordering technologies become adopted in, in possibly other areas um, through chain restaurants before the mom and pops really become comfortable with it. But it really depends. Things are changing so quickly. Now the data that comes along with a payment transaction is just or almost just as valuable as the actual payment. So if we're able to really see how a small restaurant can use that information to drive sales, improve their profitability and improve the customer experience, then we'll see those smaller restaurants adopting those technologies. 
So really beyond just the payment ecosphere, I think we're going to see a lot of technological innovations in restaurants in a lot of different ways where we'll be integrating the ordering of a meal, um, the customization of a meal, uh, the satisfaction with the meal, the payment, tracking this um, to really drive data that can be used and really speed up the process as well. Right now, often we have someone taking an order, bringing it back to a kitchen, the kitchen fulfilling the order, coming back out, checking to see how everything went, and we aren't necessarily able to track how a customer prefers to pay, what wine they might have ordered with a meal, and there's all of these things where if a restaurant had a bit more information about their customer in a more usable format and was able to integrate that from the second the customer makes the reservation at the restaurant and how large their party is, uh, to post-sale, um, where you follow up with that customer and ask them how their experience was to improve that. There's really a huge opportunity to integrate all of those things. I think one of the things that's unfortunate right now is there's a group of people talking about innovations in payment, there's a group of people talking about innovations in ordering, there's a group of people talking about innovations in online booking, and they haven't really all started to talk together. Um, our association represents both chain and independent restaurants and we've been starting to talk to different technology providers about how you can get messages out through SMS or through uh, BBM or any, any of those sort of short messaging uh, systems on deals to restaurants to drive loyalty and we're going to be looking at ways to integrate that with online bookings and all of these different things to really drive value for the restaurant owner but also for the customer. If you want to know more about the Canadian Restaurant and Food Service Association, you can visit our website, www.crfa.ca.